welcome to my garden. Um, in this episode of How to Propagate, we're going to talk about kiwis. Kiwi is a vine. It's a very beautiful long vine, and unfortunately I don't have this vine growing here in this particular garden. My mother-in-law, however, has a beautiful kiwi vine that I planted at her house a few years ago, and it grows all the way across her carport. So what I did a few days ago when I was over is I chopped off a few pieces of this and I brought it back to our house in the hopes of propagating it and showing you guys how it's done. Now, when you take the initial cutting, you have to do it immediately. I can't cut it and then just, you know, leave it for a few days and then film it. So what I can show you is that this is what the final product looks like. So originally, this would be a long vine and this would be a complete leaf. So I've cut off half the leaf. Also, there would be another leaf here, here, and here. So because I've chosen this vase to put my vines in to let them propagate and, and develop their roots, I need something that's obviously tall enough. So that's why I chose to make it this long. Typically, it maybe wouldn't, maybe four or five inches being the max. But also, once this has a good root ball on it and I put it into the ground, this will give me something that looks more like, um, like a real sturdy plant. You can also use a stem, um, where you've removed all of the leaves, wounded the bottom, and used a little bit of uh, rooting hormone to get the roots to start. But you do not have to, so you don't always have to have the leaf on it. Make sure that the water is lukewarm. Uh, make sure you change the water every few days. Don't let it get too mucky in there. And good luck. I'm Scarlett. Thanks for watching. This was How to Propagate Your Kiwis. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Toodaloo!